Hi, welcome back to Blue Mountain Bushcraft and Outdoors. Today we're going to take a look at a new sheath option for the Topps Tahoma Field Knife. Come check it out with me, it's pretty neat. Okay, so the Topps Tahoma Field Knife, as it comes from Topps, is delivered in their ballistic nylon sheath. And say what you will about the quality of Topps knives, most of them are excellent, some of them, eh, this one's awesome. But these sheaths suck, and they need to be replaced. So a while back I was talking with my good buddy Gary at C2G Fab. If you're not aware of him, you definitely need to go check his site out. He's a fantastic Kydex worker. And he wanted to make up something special for my Topps Tahoma. So we talked about what he wanted to do, what I wanted him to do, came to some agreements. I sent the knife off to him and he was starting to work his magic. Well, in the meantime, Andy Tran over at Inner Bark Outdoors came out with his sheath option. So I'm going to address these sheaths in the order in which they were received, and I'm going to do it in two separate videos. So Gary's sheath, the C2G Fab sheath, we're going to talk about another day, and you're not going to want to miss this one because this sheath rocks. So what we're going to talk about today is the sheath from inner bark outdoors and Andy searched around until he found what he wanted and is having these made by a custom manufacturer by the name of Red Feather Custom Kydex. Red Feather up until now has mostly specialized in Kydex for weapons and this thing comes with some pretty interesting features. First of all it's a taco design and if I'm going to carry a knife of this size on my hip I don't like a lot of extra bulk and I really like the taco design for that there's not a whole lot of extra frills there's not tons of extra material hanging off of it like you get with some other sheaths it's a very basic minimalistic sheath and I I really like that the fit and finish on the sheath is exemplary. All the edges are smooth, everything is well molded. There are drain holes where there need to be drain holes. All the rivets are spaced evenly. And look at this. Here's something you don't see on Kydex too often. It's a welt, just like you'd find in a leather sheath. I thought that was pretty darn cool. Let's take a look at the dangler and the attachment system. Dangler is removable. The belt loop here is permanently installed. That's not going to come out unless you drill this rivet out of here. The tunnel, the channel for the belt is plenty big enough for any of the belts that I have and use. And it is, instead of being a full a big ring, it's a D-ring, and it's got plenty of room to swivel around, which is excellent. So it's got lots of movement, so if you were to lash this to your leg, you know, depending on what your position is, this is going to move with you pretty nicely. Like I said, the system is removable. So this piece here is attached to what they call the saddle. The saddle is this section here. Again, also removable. Now, I have this set up for right hand carry. If you wanted to set this up for left hand carry, that's easy enough to do. Unbolt everything, swap the saddle around, reattach your dangler system, and you're off to the races. There's a real nice well done flare up top here so that you can use your thumb to push off to pull this out of the sheath which is excellent because retention on this sheath is pretty tight it's very easy to do one-handed 
but the addition of that ramp there really helps. Now there may be times when you want to take your knife and not wear it on a belt. Maybe you want to lash it to a pack or you know, tie it off to another piece of gear. As minimalist as this is, this still has the flexibility to do that through the way that this saddle system is designed. So, if you can see, there is just enough space here to fit molly straps through. But if you want to, you can take the saddle off, pull the dangler out, get rid of that, put your molly straps in here, and for most of the straps that I've seen and used, you almost really need to take the saddle off, put the straps in, and then bolt everything down, because there's just not a whole lot of clearance there for the fixtures and fittings that come with a lot of the straps. So you bolt that down, put your straps on, and then you can attach that to pretty much whatever you want to attach it to. You'll notice there are no extra pouches, there's no ferro rod loops, anything like that on here. You could easily attach a pouch to the saddle here, and I imagine you could just as easily attach some ferro rod loops using the existing rivets. I personally don't want to do that. I have another sheath, not the one that Gary made me, uh, but the initial one that I used to replace that garbage nylon that Top sent. And it had all the bells and whistles. It had straps and boxes and all sorts of gizmos. And I didn't like it. It was too much. This knife is big enough all by itself that I don't really want any more extra weight hanging off here. But, you know, everyone's different. So if you want extra weight and you want to attach the kitchen sink to this thing, you can certainly do it. One last thing I want to talk about before I put this on my belt and show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it is that there are a ton of different color options. This is actually a green, I think it's a ranger green, although don't quote me, I don't even remember what I ordered, and a coyote. You'll notice that the saddle and the welt are color matched. Well, you can get all sorts of different colors, camo colors, solid colors, any different kind of combination that you want, just ask. And if they have it, they can make it for you. And they've got a lot of different stuff. So that's pretty cool. All right, so you can see that this rides pretty nicely as is. It's down low enough so that it's not digging into my side. And it drops it down low enough so that if you're wearing a jacket or sweatshirt or some sort of an overshirt, that this will come out uh, underneath that as well. There's plenty of room here to tuck extra shirt or jacket material into so that it doesn't impede your ability to grip the knife. Like I said, the retention on this is excellent. So when you want to go grab it, you really do need some place to push off. And I have a tendency to kind of rock it a little bit and she comes right out, no problem. Nice positive snap, comes right out. But if you're just tugging on it, it doesn't want to come out. This thing is not falling out of here. Retention is outstanding. Now hopefully you can also see I have a Wilderness Tactical Nylon Belt. This belt is pretty thick. It's designed as a gun belt. It's designed to hold some weight. So it's probably a good bit thicker than a lot of belts out there. And even as low profile as this is, it has no problem going through. The belt has no problem going through the loop at all. And there's actually still a little bit of extra room in there. So you could conceivably use an even wider belt than this one. They said retention is excellent. It's not coming out. Let me grab a hold of the dangler. Get you right up next to the camera and the microphone.
virtually no rattle at all. I think most of that is me doing this. There's a tiny bit of rattle, but hardly any. None that I would notice. Okay guys, that's all I've got for you in the sheath. Listen, if you're a fan of the Topps Tahoma field knife like I am, you already know that it needs a sheath if you've got that stock nylon one. It's just not a good sheath system. So there's a lot of different options out there. There's a lot of different people making them. But this one's coming almost right from the source. This one you're going to order through Inner Bark Outdoors. I will give you the links to that site down below. The quality is outstanding. The fit and finish is fantastic. It's very versatile. It's reversible. You can lash it to stuff. You can lash stuff to it. And pretty much make the sheath whatever you want. It's minimalistic. I think it's attractive. All sorts of different color options to suit your needs. So, you know, whatever you want out of a sheath aesthetically, I think they can probably achieve with this. It's lightweight as is, and it doesn't really add a whole lot of extra bulk. And best of all, guys, this thing just works. Retention is outstanding. All right, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm doing my best to get my production back up and running at a more normal pace. So if you are uh, a Tops to Home a fan, you're going to want to stay tuned to my channel and check this sheath out from C2G Fab because it's awesome. All right, guys, until next time, be safe. See you later. Bye.